Hello there and welcome back to another episode of trying to make a battle pack out of a regular Lego set. In fact, today is a triple whammy because we're going to be taking all three Lego Star Wars mech play sets and turning them into this Ninjago mech battle pack. Honestly, mechs, amazing. Battle packs, also amazing. A mech battle pack for Star Wars. Lego just can't go wrong. I really hope we see at least one of these. It's aimed at 6+. I'll still be picking up quite a few of these, especially if they do them right. We know how popular the Stormtrooper mech was for the Stormtrooper minifigure. Imagine getting three more for just a little extra, and that would honestly be amazing. So I do have three battle packs lined up, one centered around each of the Star Wars mechs, Vader, Stormtrooper, and Boba Fett. And I'd love for LEGO to release some Rebellion or Resistance or even Republic mechs so that I could do a similar thing with them because honestly, I think this is a great idea and we'll take a look at the minifigures from this set first. I have already reviewed the actual mech, but I am also keeping the theme of the minifigures. So let's take a look at that in a second. Of course, if you enjoy this video and more importantly, this series, then there is a playlist that I will leave linked at the end of the video on screen for you and be sure to like and also subscribe to join the channel and so you don't miss out on more awesome Lego content. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So as you can see with the original battle pack, it did indeed come with a mech and it also came with these four minifigures. Now, we have two heroes, two villains, and that will be sticking throughout this video. In fact, the hardest one was probably Vader to come up with another hero for him to face off against. There was Definitely one that I know Lego would include, but I was trying to build specific scenes and I definitely am happy with the one that I went with. So stay tuned. That one will be right at the end of the video. I'll leave the best till last, I guess, in some aspects. But I'm very happy I picked this up. This is a set that I got for my birthday and it's a nice set. It does come with a pretty decent mech compared to some of the 4 plus mechs that I've seen and I also like Lloyd here with the giant staff or sword or weapon from the mech because it does look pretty funny compared to the regular smaller sword, much much smaller sword that the minifigure is housing. I'd also like to point out the hairpiece. The hairpiece looks really cool with the bandana around it. I'm a big fan of these I don't know if they're dual molded or if like the Ahsoka and the, I don't know if Bo-Katan got hers printed on, but we've seen some printed hair pieces. Hopefully that is dual molded because it does look really cool and I can't wait to get more. Also, the hood that comes with this villain from the Ninjago set is going to go on my Barris Offy from the Jedi and Clone Battle Pack because I think these new hoods that Lego are doing are just so much better. Unless we're talking about Ewok, no, not Ewoks, the ones from A New Hope, Jawas. Unless we're talking about Jawas, I think these new hoods just look so much better. So, Barris Offy has got an upgrade. In fact, there's a video featuring these Jedi coming very soon. So, stay around for that and let's get into the first mech. So, first and by no means at all the worst mech. In fact, this one of my more favourable ones is this Boba Fett. You've already seen a sneak peek of the figure that I've got with me. It is the Skiff Driver because I have wanted to make more of a Return of the Jedi Boba. I don't know why they included the Empire Strikes Back one in the set when it was the Return of the Jedi's anniversary. But perhaps we'll get another Boba this year in a set with that new outfit. And as you can see, I've included a custom Lando because I don't own... Well, I think I don't own any Lando minifigures, which I do have to change. I have a few figures on my display, but they are all custom Lando figures. And I also have Han from the Skiff scene. In fact, having a giant Skiff to size up with the mech would be really cool. But at that point, it's just a Jubba's salt barge. But I think this mech turned out really cool. I have taken a few aspects from the Ninjago one. The laser fires on the left hand, these stud shooters. I have equipped with some trans orange studs instead of the trans blue because he has flamethrowers on his wrist. So that worked out very, very nice for me. And I've also custom built this Boba's weapon, which honestly looks really cool. I was going to break these down afterwards, but I think I'm actually going to keep these mini mechs. Mini mechs is a great name. I'm going to write that in the title. I think I'm going to keep these mini mechs built and add them to my mech collection 
because they just look so cool for these characters. I've included the yellow knee pads and I've also got his shoulder, not pauldrons, but his shoulder plates with the mythosaur, which I've represented in just the one by one brown tile. And of course, we had to have his jetpack, which is a smaller version of the one built on the bigger mech. In fact, it's completely different to that one. But the rocket on the back, which doesn't really fire, it is the same rocket taken straight from the bigger one because it fits with the backpack. But if you flick it hard enough, it definitely will fire quite far. It's just a bit hard to do one handed. But I'm a big fan of this mini mech. And again, it's a battle pack four named figure. Well, I guess we've got the skiff guard over here, but three named figures and a skiff guard. There is no way that Lego would give us this much in a battle pack. But I had to build the scene. If this was Empire Strikes Back, you definitely could have just had three troopers, perhaps even a stormtrooper and then Lando and a best bin guard. But I wanted to make it from Return of the Jedi, which I guess the other two fit in as well to some extent. But that takes us on to the next mech, which I will reveal is indeed the Stormtrooper one. So as the Stormtrooper is a bit smaller than Boba, you can see he doesn't have a backpack or anything on the back. Actually, this one stands a lot better than Boba. Perhaps it's because it doesn't have that extra weight on the back. I have built a little side display to go with it, and it is a ladder for the Stormtrooper to get into the mech. You can see there is another one standing on the ladder, firing off, which does fit more with Hoff in Empire Strikes Back, like with the Boba mech. I guess you could add this over a snow speeder and that'll be how they get into X-Wings or some of the bigger ships. But to combat the two Stormtroopers, I have also included two Rebel Troopers just down here, which would be the perfect battle pack. I mean, this is, this is an army builder if I've ever seen one. Two Stormtroopers, two Rebels, and the rest is history because my history would be filled with a bunch of these battle packs. But I think it'd be cool to get a little accessory like that so that the Stormtrooper can get into the mech. I think we see it in the Lego short advertising the original mechs. And once again, the Stormtrooper mech comes across very well into this smaller size. You can see I've been able to round off the arms much like the bigger mechs, add some slopes on the back. You've even got a clip for the Stormtrooper's blaster as there is no backpack there which is something taken from the original set. The original set had two clips for the two swords. I've taken it across to the Stormtrooper and Vader, and once again, this Stormtrooper mech will be making a permanent feature in my display alongside all of my other custom mechs. And I'm a really big fan of these smaller mechs. Something I would definitely like to do next time is try and work out how to get around using the same brick torso for the body because the Star Wars mechs are actually built using the plates and that behind the front, whereas this is just that one giant mech piece that the Stormtrooper sits in, and that's fine for most characters, but I did have to remove Boba's jetpack, and characters like Ahsoka, for instance, just don't really sit too well in that. You have to jump a plate them forward a bit, they don't fully close up, and I just want to make it, I guess, more inclusive to other figures, but... That will definitely be in my next iteration for the Rebellion, who are known to be a bit more inclusive than the Empire. Speaking about inclusivity in the Empire, of course, Vader's mech is looking very dark. And I'm not sure if it picks it up too well on camera, but there is still a little bit of detail. I have copied across the sort of shoulder pauldrons. I don't really know what them shoulder armor pieces are called. And also added some fancy techniques around the hands for the gloves. That fancy brick on the side there again the legs the backs pretty similar you've got vader's lightsaber clipped on the back which is a very nice feature storing weapons has been a part of lego since their early ship so i had to include it on the mech and because this mech is lacking in pieces you have that custom built saber there with vader's iconic i can't remember what they were i think it was like a cup windscreen wiper stuck to the bottom of the hilt represented there and the giant red blade which is just a lego blaster we also have palpatine in his throne room chair and i've included a white mug you may wonder why well if you remember the holiday special vader gifts palpatine i think it's vader it might be kylo but i'm pretty sure vader gives palpatine a special mug with world's best emperor which again in itself is a reference to older lego content but i've built palpatine this chair here 
just to add to the part count because Palpatine wouldn't really be out his chair and I could have included an Imperial Guard but that would have just made for just a boring figure compared to Palpatine's. I love the Imperial Guards but Palpatine, I mean, do I have to say anything more? And to combat Palpatine and Vader, as I said from the holiday special, we have a Luke Skywalker and Rey Skywalker which is weird when you're saying them both in the same sentence because of course Rey adopts the name Skywalker after Luke has passed but I think these are the perfect characters to combat Palps and Vader over there because as you might know from the holiday special Rey does travel back to this moment ends up taking Kylo with her so perhaps Vader and Kylo Luke and Rey would line up a little more but I really do want to see this ray in a set mainly for that yellow lightsaber blade because i think she got a blue one in the holiday diorama i'd love to get a ucs master builder well master builder series a little different to ucs but the same as the moss isley that we got with all the characters i'd love to get a lars homestead with owen with aunt Beru, with Kleeg, with anakin with shmi with another padme because we're overdue all the padme costumes we can also have a Rey Skywalker and BB-8. We've got Luke and possibly old Ben. I don't know if he would make it into the scene, but 3PO would be another good one. 3PO in his Phantom Menace state. And then a gold 3PO with the silver leg. And there's just so much they could do. Build a giant Lars homestead. You can then position the minifigures throughout. Perhaps we even get Luke's bedroom with the toy Skyhopper that he plays with in A New Hope. And it's just a Master Builder series I think they should definitely look at doing anyway. Let's take a look at all the battle packs and compare them to the size of a actual mech playset. So here we have my custom Lego Sentinel mech, which is somewhat mini figure scale, two stories tall. So it's to scale with my Lego City. And this is meant to be the smaller Sentinel for any of you Marvel fans. It's sort of beat up using the head from Wolverine CMF figure. You can see it's nearly double the size of these mini mechs. So perhaps for some shorter characters in the Star Wars universe, like the Ewoks or even the Ugnaughts, or we could possibly even make a BD-1 and BB-8 mech using this structure. That would look quite funny. They could scale up quite nicely, especially if you've got a bunch of the little Ewoks tormenting the giant Stormtrooper mech. But... I really liked how these turned out. Once again, taking a look at all of the battle packs. I really think some of these would be really popular, especially the far left and the far right. But I guess the far left has too many named characters for a Lego battle pack. So I'll leave a poll up in the community tab. Definitely let me know if any, which of these you'd prefer to pick up and which of these battle pack the best, I guess, is what I'm asking. And if you don't like any of these, I will leave the option there, but definitely let me know which one is your favourite. Thank you for sticking around for the entirety of this video. Let me know if you'd enjoy it by leaving a like and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. And may the bricks be with you always.